Good morning, everyone. I wanted to bring you a little bit different of a video and show you what our lives are like on a day-to-day -day basis here in Saudi Arabia. It's kind of like Groundhog's Day. We kind of do the same thing, which is why our videos when we go places are so important to us. But I hope you enjoy this little video and uh, see what our life's like here in Saudi. This is the story of a family of four traveling the world as often as possible, sharing their adventures. Join us all on this season as we find exciting new places to explore, living this crazy life on the go. Please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and then also get notified when we release new videos. It really helps us out a lot. So, Jamie wants me to film my trip to Milan. That's where I'm going anyway. So we just landed by we, it just being me. Landed in uh, Qatar again, as you've seen before, one of the other videos. So early in the morning, the, the only proper thing to do is to switch to rum. Mm. Apparently there was a little bit of gray area on the last video. Um, whenever you're in an airport, there's a standard rule and everybody knows this. You're in international time. So it doesn't matter if it's four o'clock in the afternoon or four o'clock in the morning. You are you're permitted, if not encouraged, to drink all the time. You know, and if you want to start soft or easy, just, just lean in with bloodies. Um, you don't have to go to drinking it straight, just 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 wean yourself onto it. Pretty soon you too will be an international traveler. I hear you. I do. I hear you. Yeah. All right. It's a school day. So we have to go wake up River. She's in all those blankies. River, good morning. Good morning. Hey, you. <laughs> Time to get up. Our messy kitchen. It's always messy on Sundays. Good morning. Good morning. We're gonna give everybody a glimpse into our everyday lives here in Saudi. Oh. A little bit a little bit different than what we're used to giving them. Yeah. So what time did you wake up? 4.30. Why'd you get up at 4.30? I wasn't trying to. Oh boy, that's early. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Well, it's 6.30 now. Mm-hmm. Meh. Get our day rolling. Yep. Okay, you gonna eat breakfast? I already did. <laughs> nice. All right, and I see you fed the cats already? Yeah, I was trying to feed the cats so they stopped annoying you. I already filled up the bowls, but they were still annoying me, so. Where's uh, Gato? I have no idea. Good morning, kitty. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, <laughs> found the other cat. <laughs> Oh, please, what? Hi, kitty. Round, round. Hi. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Got the cats inside. Gato likes to sneak out and go hang out in the in the neighborhood and check out all the other cats. So he's home now. Okay, come on, cats. Get away. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Hi. You happy now? You happy now? Oh, Everybody, this is our ray of sunshine. <laughs> Stop! Okay, okay. So one of the first things that I have to do in the morning is make River snack for school. And um, they don't stay there for lunch because they don't have a cafeteria, so she comes home for lunch. But I do have to make her a snack and she always asks for popcorn. And she wants salt and vinegar on it. It's kind of like salt and vinegar chips if you ever had it. It's really good. So after I make River's snack, I get my cup of coffee and then I sit down in the living room for a little bit, read the news, find out what's going on in the world and everything I missed overnight and stare out my window. It's sprinkling today so hopefully it won't be too rainy. Um, we usually don't get a whole lot of rain but I like to just stare out my front windows because it's so pretty. Does anybody else have a cat like this who has to have his morning loves? He also turns into an alien. <laughs> so 
don't worry, it doesn't hurt him, he loves it. I don't know if you can hear him purring. Have fun. Give him a little video thing for the wife. Um, I hate flying. It gives me a wicked headache every time. I don't think it's the altitude, because I go skiing and I don't get headaches, but I don't know. I just always feel horrible afterwards. So, eh, but we're in Milan. We'll have to see how customs is. About every other time they let me use the speed pass. Sometimes they don't. I have to stand in line for hours, but we'll see. The other thing is, Hopefully there's a driver. I asked for one. Holy smokes, that was fast. I mean, I literally just stopped making the video, walked around the corner, and they let me walk right through the, uh, the actual speed pass line, like you should, the third party national ones. Awesome, way faster. Scan your stuff, right in country, love it. Now I gotta find my bag. Part of our morning routine is Desmond usually comes down and shares with me his creations. He makes uh, Lego creations out of Lego Mixels, if anybody's ever seen the Lego Mixels. He tends to make his own little creations out of them and a lot of times they transform and they do some really cool things. So he's very, very creative and so every morning I love to see the creations he comes up with. So who's this one, Desmond? Oh, that's a combination of my Mosasaur Pterodactyl and a Kylosaur, who I call MTA. The reason why I didn't put the P in there, because the P is silent. <laughs> He's cool. What do you do with the rest of those? Just watch. So you took two guys and turned it into four? Well, these these guys were already connected, but also these guys were also connected. That's awesome. So this is who? Mosasaurus, Pteranodon, and Kylos, T-Rex. And as you notice at uh, this guy, he doesn't look like a T-Rex, right? Right. That's the fun of it. You, this guy. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I'm headed to my gym so I can work out. Um, I usually try to go to the gym three times a week. A lot of people probably don't know also is that a lot of facilities are still segregated here in Saudi Arabia and that also includes here on camp and so we have a male and a female gym. So several years ago I worked with recreation for them to allow women to have access to the men's gym for safety reasons. For a lot of us females who lift heavy, we just felt safer having the men in the gym in order to be able to spot us correctly because in the female gym there's only female attendants and they're not necessarily as strong as the men are in case you're doing bench press and you drop it on yourself or if you're doing squats or shoulder presses or whatever it is. So we have access now to the men's gym and have for quite a few years. And so I'm going to go in there, get my workout in on this beautiful day. I almost would rather not work later, but got to do what I got to do. So let's go get this workout on.
From my house, it's a five minute walk, which I use as my warm up. Morning. Good, how are you? Today was leg and buys, and usually I like to do about 10 different leg exercises and about five different bicep exercises. I like to keep the reps between eight to 10 for three sets. Sometimes I'll do a little bit more, but today I kept it short and sweet. in our gym. <laughs> so I just got back from the gym and now I'm going to have my protein shake and then I'm going to take a shower. No, you don't get to see that. And then after the shower, it is time to get to work so I can put out these videos for you guys. Also, most of you probably know that Desmond is homeschooled. He's in ninth grade and we have been homeschooling him since he was in fifth grade, right Des? Uh, fifth grade when COVID hit and it has turned out to be absolutely awesome for him is exactly what he needed and right now he's taking a unit test in English so I need to go help him out with that before I take a shower <laughs> made it to Sesto my ride never showed up so I had to uber it but I got like an hour to kill before I'm able to check into my Airbnb. So yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Got an hour to kill. Still feeling kind of yucky from the plane ride, but whatever, I'll get over it. I'll keep you posted. Yeah? What did you learn today? <laughs> that much, huh? Uh, we didn't really do much. Usually, when we do writing, reading, or math, those are the, usually the ones I learn. Oh, yeah? Uh, what would you like for lunch, darling? A cookie. No, you're not going to just eat a cookie. Oh. What are you going to have for lunch? Ramen. Ramen? Yes. All right, let's go make it. Not only lunchtime for the kids, it's also lunchtime for the cat who eats non stop. Mm -hmm. So you're putting more lime mm -hmm. in your calamansi top ramen? Yeah. They're clean? Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Yay. It wasn't limey enough for you? Yeah. <laughs> I can't squeeze it anymore. Is that it? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> That's why I'm so strong. Is that, yeah. Good job. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Is it too sour now? Nothing's too sour for you. Yeah. We've seen that, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Nothing's unedible for her. Good? Good. Nice. Perfect. What are you having for lunch? Cheese sandwich. Ooh, a melted cheese sandwich? Yep. So it's not like grilled cheese sandwich, just a melted cheese sandwich. Yes, with two different types of cheese. Whoa, nice. Hello. It's dripping. <laughs> While eating next to the T-Rex we saw before. Yes, of course, the T-Rex always has to be here. Where are your shoes, yo? Is that your road cookie? <laughs> Helmet on to protect that noggin of yours. Yeah. 
Love you. Bye. Go. You're gonna be late. Have fun. Watch your cars. First day, headed to school, got a good night's sleep, feeling much better today. Had a nice uh, um, calzone, you know, spicy calzone, salami, loved it. But as you can see right now, this is the typical February morning in Northern Italy. It's overcast and drizzly. It's not all that picturesque. It is a really pretty place when it clears up. But right now, this time of year, eh, it's just kind of dreary, so we'll see how the day progresses. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's up? What? What's wrong? Oh. oh. You had me scared there for a second. What's up? How was school? A little goofball. How was school? Good. Yeah? Hi. Did you learn lots? Mid. Mid. Good. You're going to do some math homework? What's so, your joke? So I heard this um, short on YouTube yesterday with my friend Amelia, and um, it was this. They say science is fake because they say the sun is the hottest thing on earth when it's really you. <laughs> <laughs> Show me what you got. This is this is the um, stuff kids are learning these See days. Life. See life. Oh, wait. You can't read it because down because okay. of the camera. What are we what are we doing? 6.1 I believe. See if mom can do uh, third grade math. Probably not. <laughs> she forgets I was a math teacher. I know that though. Okay, perimeter. That's not the oh. okay, it's 6.1. But I know what perimeter is. But we're not doing perimeter. 6.1. Oh, S. This is what we learned in school and I hate it. We'll be our holder. Okay, so we're gonna estimate, right? So yeah. that means that we have to round. This Gen Xer and former teacher is trying to understand this new unnecessary way of teaching math. What was so wrong with the way we all learned it so many years ago? Wasn't it a lot easier? That's how we did it in school. Okay. <laughs> I think that's silly. Huh. Instead. Okay, jump, bye. Uh, Take your stuff downstairs. Take your helmet. Put your book away. Put your backpack away. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. So one of the fun things that I get to deal with when Joel is gone is being in charge of calling maintenance when things break, i.e. Desmond's toilet. Now this is the third time that Desmond's toilet has been broken. Um, it gets clogged up and it cannot get unclogged. The last time, they actually had to pull the entire toilet out. That didn't help. And then they went into my ceiling and was dealing with all the pipes and blah. This is company housing. And so we get to call company maintenance and they come out and they try to fix things. And sometimes it just doesn't work. And so sometimes they just have to have Joel do it. They came out, they said they can't fix it. And so now tomorrow, I have to call again and see if they can come out and fix his toilet. It's weird because it's, I won't show you, I'll spare you the details, but it's like grass is kind of building back up into it and clogging it. So hopefully tomorrow we'll get this all settled and they'll be able to fix his toilet. But one of the nice things about living in company housing is we don't have to pay for the maintenance. So the maintenance workers come out and they are paid all by the company. And uh, so I get to call them again and have that fixed. Day two of ground school and guess what? Still raining, nothing's changed. Don't expect anything to change at ground school. It's uh, not a very lively experience, but it's required. So gotta do it. So living on camp, our mail is delivered a little bit differently than you would probably have in the United States or most countries. We have a mail center, but for some reason it's not actually utilized. 
So when we get packages for, from Amazon or any place that we order in, we actually have to go to the gate and we have to pick it up from the delivery agent. So that means I have to drive out to the parking lot, pack up my package, and then come back through security. So that's what I'm gonna go do now because I got a package coming in. Drive to the gate takes about three minutes. For safety reasons, I can't film the gate because it is guarded. But once outside the gate, I take an immediate right-hand turn into the parking lot to collect my package. So now that I'm at the parking lot, I have to go and try to figure out which car it is that these guys are in because they don't come in marked cars. They just show up in a white car, a white van. Who really knows? Ooh, and it's really windy out here. So let's see if I can find him. Might be this guy. Hi, Amazon? Oh. Hi. So that was actually pretty easy. The guy was actually waiting for me, um, but it wasn't the package that I thought it was going to be. So that means that I do actually have to come back up later on when the other delivery driver gets here, which is just par for the course. It happens sometimes you're up here four times a day because they come whenever they want, random times. You'll get a message in the morning, but they may not show up till 6.30. We've had them show up at nine o'clock at night. And it's just the price we pay for getting the things that we want here because we can't just go to a Costco. We can't just go to a Target. We can't just go to normal places. You know, we've seen our commissary, it's tiny. And so we do have to order things in quite often. And this is the price we pay for getting in the things that we need. And you guys probably know that we're going on vacation on Repat in a couple of weeks. And so we need to order in all of our supplies so that we can go on vacation. Um, Cause I, like I said, you can't just go to a department store here. It's not as easy. And um, so we just come up here and get our packages. I miss thing. It is 5.30. So I'm going to make dinner. Okay. So you're cool with noodles sure. with butter and lemon pepper. Is that what you wanted? Sure. What? Over here, my fawns. Oh, your fawns. Fans. Okay. What did you make? I'm working on a sea life lizard, so we can hang on my tree. Yeah. Look at that. Where's the green? <laughs> Not enough green in there, yo. A blue is more of a certain color. Gotta put the sea life blue I think in there. Blue is more of a certain color. Wait, here, I'll make one half blue and the other half green. You know, the blue is for the water and the green is for the land. But what's for the sky? Blue. This river is quite the crafty little girl and she has craft projects all over this house. And for her birthday, she got a paint by numbers. And so that is her latest. So I just said generally to the house, okay, I've got to go get another box. And I hear from the other room, that room. What'd you say, Des? Did you already go and get a box? Story of my life. So now back up to the gate I go. Bye. Bye. Let's go pretend and say hi. Okay, so I'm back now from getting the second package. By the way, it was nothing that I ordered, so not any fun at all. And I've got to start making dinner again. So when they called for me to go get the package, I my water was already boiling, so I had to turn it off. And so now I've got to start dinner all over again, and it's six o'clock so here we go so while i'm slaving away and making dinner for the kids and going and getting packages i wonder what joel's doing in italy check ride day i know i haven't been filming a lot but the weather hasn't changed at all it's still a rainy soppy mess it's like day six of this kind of over it but hopefully 
won't be too bad today. Get it done, be done with this stuff, go home to my family. We'll see. Wet, phone's wet, I'm wet, yuck. You have food. You have food. Your whole dish is full. The whole thing is full. Go eat your food. No, I, I'm not gonna feed you more. Go. Why'd you get all over my floor? That's gross. Come on, look. Look, let's show everybody. You want food? There's plenty of food. Eat it. There's plenty of food. Eat your food. What's wrong with it? Does anybody else have a cat like this? I don't know how to help you. No, it's not a it's not a scratching post, it's a camera. <laughs> Go eat your food. No, it, that's not what it's for. <laughs> Stop it. Go. Go eat your food. That's a lot of noodles, Joe. Thank you, servant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think, huh? You're cute. It's a good thing. The uh, check right thing was a giant pain the sim went down because of all the rain and everything that was going on it's a big bunch of computers that are networked together so when it goes down it takes hours if if not longer to get it up it took them four hours to get it working so my check ride got delayed from roughly 1 45 until seven o'clock at night and then it went till 10 roughly didn't get back till 10 30 so it's been a long night. Uh, you know, my neighbors decided to reorganize their living room at two o'clock in the morning, so that didn't help. And then got up at five and I'm here at six o'clock and already all checked in. Gonna go to the lounge, do my thing, get on an airplane, and I won't be getting home till 10 o'clock tonight. So I got that going for me, but it is what it is. I get the kids to bed, I sit down and watch a murder mystery and trying to tackle the never-ending mound of laundry before I start it all over again tomorrow. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button before heading over to Patreon, where you can support our efforts even further. You get exclusive content, ad-free videos, and so much more just for showing your love. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.